Coca-Cola getting high marks from its presentation and crowd sizes at the annual National Association of Convenience Store Conference. Now, that has piqued the interest of Sazi ahead of Coca-Cola's earnings release. That's going to be on October 25th. That's where we find this take today, Sazi. That's what we do here. We find uh, obscure, otherwise obscure conferences like the National Convenience Store Conference <laughs> and like bring these reports to life. Uh, so shout out to uh, Evercore ISI analyst Robert uh, Ottenstein, which uh, put together a report of what Coca-Cola did there. It looks like Robert went to the event. It was well, well trafficked. Let's fire off some photos here because you're looking, I think, at the next generation of Coca-Cola in many respects. You're seeing a smart coffee machine on screen right now. That is a new Costa brand that they bought a couple years ago. You're seeing them also innovate more with new cans. You're seeing now uh, that Coke freestyle machine up to now 200 different flavor options there. And then one of my faves right here, the Body Armor brand, which Coke bought, now coming in 28 ounce bottles with 140 milligrams of caffeine. Oh. Sign me up for all that stuff. So again, yeah, I think you're seeing a more focused Coca-Cola right here, really starting to bring or crank up its innovation engine into next year. Now, why is all of this important? Why should we care about what's happening at the National Convenience Store uh, Conference as it pertains to Coca-Cola? Well, a couple stats on the board here. Convenience stores account for about 10 to 14% of Coke's North America sales. Convenience stores account for about 15 to 20% of Coke's North America profits, so large presence there, of course. And approximately half of the U.S. adult population shops each day at a convenience store and likely buys something from Coca-Cola and, of course, its main rival, PepsiCo, which will be getting their earnings out tomorrow morning. Uh, overall, speaking of earnings, Coca-Cola will report earnings in a couple weeks. I whipped up a, a nifty checklist here for you guys to store away uh, as you prepare uh, for this earnings report. The strong dollar may hammer sales and profits, of course. Coca-Cola is a global player, and they will very much likely to be exposed, exposed to that strong dollar, just like we heard from Nike uh, a couple weeks ago when they reported Constellation Brands. We just talked to CEO Bill Newlands. Uh, their earnings were strong, suggests that increased mobility might have helped Coca-Cola as well. Our price increase is sticking. We saw from Conagra when they reported earnings in McCormick last week. Food companies are pushing through price increases, and for right now, they appear to be sticking. Good thing for margins. And last but not least, any signs of inflation rolling over? I mentioned that Conagra report last week. There were signs that inflation was starting to cool down a little bit. And my take here, a uh, more focused Coca-Cola is ultimately a good thing for investors into next year. There I am holding a full calorie Coca-Cola. Now, what you don't see here is really over the past year uh, or so, James Quincy, the CEO of Coca-Cola, has really streamlined that product portfolio, really got them focused on what they should be doing, right. which is a body armor, which is core Coca-Cola, which is unique cans, and not selling things, I believe, like tab that nobody really wants. What's remarkable is that we always had been talking about for years when there was kind of a war on sugar, if you will, and some of the more sugary drinks that were falling out of the consumer either diet or fanfare or just kind of the affinity to those high sugary drinks, Coca-Cola pivoted. Coca-Cola is one of the only companies that has the amount of cash possible to really deploy in the beverage space to either build something out in-house or go out and acquire a brand. And I think that's really been a really good competitive positioning for them. Of course, it does come with the size of Coca-Cola to make that possible, uh, but that's a significant consideration for how they've been able to kind of steer the ship over these past few years as consumer taste trends change. Yeah, it's interesting to see that uh, chart we were just showing how uh, Coca-Cola shares have been outperforming uh, PepsiCo, but again, we'll hear about them tomorrow. We'll be talking to CFO Hugh Johnston, friend of our programming. Very curious to see how they did in this volatile backdrop.